Hey, so I got some LED lighting here for my workstation area where I'll do all my little projects and things. Um, this is an IKEA desk that we picked up on Craigslist. Uh, I don't think they make this one anymore. It's called the Frederick. Um, so I paid 40 bucks for this through Craigslist. It's in good condition. Uh, we looked it up and it historically it sold I think for about a hundred. So it's a good deal. Nice big work area. Um, they make a workstation. They made a workstation model out of it, but that had like extended brackets and shelving. Uh, but th this was just the desk, so I kind of made my own by going back to IKEA and getting um, one of their little shelves and uh, put some four of their table legs on it. So what I've done here, I just have a clamp light right now. It looks kind of hokey. Um, it's just for additional lighting. But I uh, got these LED strips from Banggood, banggood.com. Um, I'll link to those in the description too. So I'm going to get those mounted up underneath the shelf here. Um, and then run the, I'm going to drill a hole in this back leg and run the wire down. Another hole down at the bottom of the leg, have it pop out and it goes to this little power supply I cut a switch into it um, so this will be just a quick video on how I um, mount those lights to the underneath of the shelf there okay so I took the shelf off the desk and just flipped it over this unfinished side is the back that goes against the wall and then uh, this is the corner that was right up here so um, you can, uh, so these legs are called, uh, Adils, Adils, whatever, um, part number 22724, I believe they were like $4, um, 4 bucks each, so 16 bucks for all four, and then this shelf, uh, I know it's upside down, but it was the Ekby, I think it, I think it was Joppin or Jarpin or something like that, you can see, uh, part number 11987. I just got this one because it was the right thickness. Um, it wasn't hollow. Some of their thicker shelves are just hollow inside or like um, super thick cardboard corrugated inside. Um, and it was that, you know, black, black slash whatever espresso dark brown color to match the, uh, the desk there. So, um, just trying to get some layout on these LEDs. I'm just going with two for now. Should be more than bright enough. I was playing with them earlier. Um, soldered them together over there. Uh, this will be our input side. I got some lamp cord at the Home Depot. Um, so I'll solder these up, um, shrink wrap the, uh, the solder joints. And then what we're going to do is on the back side here, I'm going to drill a hole. I got some um, half inch rubber grommets at uh, Home Depot when I bought the wire. So we'll drill a hole here and then run the wire through the leg towards the bottom. These are adjustable legs to help level it out. So we'll make another hole on the back side right about here, put the grommet through and have the wire sticking out. So when it's up over here, the wiring will all be hidden in the leg and uh, won't be seen by these little guys, hopefully, uh, not be chewing on this stuff. So just trying to get the placement right now. It attaches with these little clips that came with it. These are uh, these LEDs are aluminum back, and the sides are fluted. So um, these clips, once they're installed and the LEDs are in them, they stand off the surface. I don't know, like a quarter of an inch. So it'll just have enough airflow all around it to hopefully keep things real cool, not get overheated. Because man, they were super bright. Hey, leave that alone. No biting. Alright, so uh get going on this. Okay, got the um did the soldering job there. Strip back the lamp cord, strip back the little leads off the LED, soldered them together, insulated each connection, and then put more heat shrink over it just to hold the wires back together from where I had to pull them apart. Um again just eyeballing the uh LED strips making sure they're kind of centered as far as the length of the shelf goes and then from side to side um, 
spread them out a little bit so not all the lights super concentrated right in the center move that top one over to the right a little bit just try to spread the light a little bit more um, already put the first clip down so just screws in there real easy and then you can snap the light in and you see there's a little bit of a gap there so we'll get some airflow around that so these things shouldn't shouldn't get too hot so just going to add two more two on the top one and one more over here and then we'll be mounted and ready to uh, drill our holes in the leg don't you think about it cat all right made the two holes um, put the grommet. mitt went ahead and fed one grommet mitt onto the wire which will go in this uppermost hole I'm about to flip this whole thing over so I can feed the wire down so it'll come down here to the second hole I took out the adjustable foot just so I wouldn't possibly screw up the threads Oop. cat toy now uh, so I wouldn't possibly screw up the threads so I'll flip this thing over drop the wire down and then Finish this hole off with one more grommet. So we'll get that flipped over here and show you the almost finished result. Opie. Hey Opie. Alright, so back to the project. Uh, flipped it upside down, ran the wire through the holes after I Put the grommet in. We're kind of losing light so you can see here what's going on. Um, put the grommet in there, ran the wire through. Gravity helping me, dropped it down. Um, once I got down to here, hole's too small for needle nose, but I just used a Allen key here from probably putting together some other IKEA furniture at some point and just stuck it in there and hooked the wire through. Um, comes out. I bought half inch grommets, which um, maybe I don't understand how grommets are supposed to work, but a half inch grommet was too big for my half inch hole. So ended up cutting it into like a C shape and um, working it in there. So, I mean, it, it's, it's working. So protecting the wire from chafing. So we're almost done. Now I just... Um, measure this up, prep the end of it, and it goes into a little um, screw-on adapter that I have that goes onto the power supply. So, there we go. Just, I'm using like a laptop power supply. Um, it's going to provide 12 volts for the LEDs, 12 volts uh, up to 6 amps of power, or draw, um, and I cut the cable and worked in a little switch there that's a 15 amp rated switch so it should be more than enough for the um, for the load that we're about to put on it and then so here's the adapter and uh, I already you know took care of positive and negative when I soldered it up so just wire those things into the terminals here and I'll be ready to go we'll get it put back in place and check it out how bright it is Okay, got everything put back together again. Nice and neat the way I had it. So, we still have some daylight outside. It's about 5 o'clock here in uh, Southern California. Um, but, got everything mounted, and for the most part, you can barely see it. So, you got a little bit of wire going into the leg there. And you can see the lights up underneath. So that wire comes over here, feeds down, feeds down in the leg there. You can see it poking in. Comes out down below. Plugs into that little adapter that I showed you. Gets power from this laptop supply. Hit the switch. And we are lit up. Kind of reminds me of a fish tank. It's a little more blue than I was hoping. 
having chosen pure white as the color. Um, so it looks kind of blue. Let me, uh, let me close the blinds here. Let me get a better idea how bright this is. It's it's pretty bright. It's definitely definitely going to help over here. So I could work just by that. There's a lamp here in the room there in the corner. You can see that's definitely a, a warm color versus the cool color over here. That really doesn't provide much light at all. I have to get a different shade for that. But uh, yeah, I like it. And uh, each one of those LEDs was like three dollars and seventy cents each, so um, like twelve dollars all done shipping with for those to my house, and then the uh, power supply over here was another five dollars. So these are twelve volt LEDs. So that power supply is uh, 12, 12 volts. That's it's for USA. So uh, 120 input AC, 12 volts output DC, up to six amps, five or six amps on that supply. This is not this is not pulling more than a couple amps for sure. And that's only two, you know. And maybe maybe somewhere down the line I'll decide to put the third one in. But uh, anyway, just wanted to show the project. Didn't take me too long, a little bit longer because I was filming each step. Um, I'll put links in the description to the parts I used here for the LEDs from Banggood and the uh, I'll even link on to the uh, parts of the desk here, the uh, legs and the shelf in case anybody wants to do this again. Alright, thanks for taking the time to watch. If you like what you saw today, please give me a thumbs up and click the subscribe button. Helps me out and uh, appreciate it. See you later. Thank you.